I believe it's extremely important for us as a company, given the role that we play in, in airspace, to, to really lead through, through our thinking, so thought leadership, to think about the future, to envision the future, and to develop the capabilities that will allow us to make that future important. What we want to do is to start a conversation with the broader aerospace community about a vision for the future. We want to hear what they have to say. We fully understand that even though we started and we created this conversation, we created a vision, we're not going to get everything right. So we want to hear. We want to hear about new, new entrants to the aerospace uh, industry. We want to hear about other companies. We're going to hear about our suppliers. We want to hear, we want to hear about our customers. And so that this becomes a joint vision. We certainly have a lot of capabilities in any specific mission area. Exploration, military space, precision time and navigation, protected communication, so we can go on strategic and missile defense. What we're seeing today more than ever is an acceleration where different missions that were viewed in the past as separate mission areas, they're merging. There is a lot of synergy in that. We are uniquely positioned to bring a more unified vision and help our nation and our customers perform their mission and lead. One technology that I'm really excited about is quantum communications and quantum remote sensing. That will provide brand new novel capabilities in terms of inertial navigation. We have breakthrough technology and we have demonstrated communications that are unbreakable and we have a novel architecture and approach that allows us to communicate at high bandwidth. So this is just a total breakthrough, it's a game changer. I'm very excited about that. Our objective is really to create this joint vision for the future that will uh, ensure that our nation continues to lead in airspace. But a secondary objective is really to energize the workforce. They not only become part of the vision, it becomes their vision. That becomes their piece of that vision, and, and that's just fantastic, right? Because they are really fully invested on that and giving their best. I'm so proud to work for Lockheed Martin because there is a larger purpose to what we do. If you look at what we're doing on Space 2050, I think the, the smart cities is probably the one that is most mature and ready for us to reap the benefits because we already have many spacecraft in orbit that collect an, an enormous amount of data about the Earth, but we're not yet making full use of that. Uh, let me give an example. The way we fight fires today, right? It's very reactive. The fire starts, the fire grows, and the firefighters, they put their life in risk to try to stop that, right? Well, we have satellites that can measure moisture content in vegetation. We have satellites that can measure the strength and direction of the wind. So, and we have satellites that can detect fires all over the world as soon as they start. And you can truly predict where this fire is gonna go, how it's gonna move, the, the front of the fire, how fast it's gonna move, you can then use our communication satellites to quickly communicate to the appropriate fire departments and they can create buffer zones and so on. This is just a small example of things that we have the data now, but we haven't pulled all that to get into a system, right? A smart AI-driven system. Come join us to build the future.